Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here, and today I wanted to show you part two of how to make a platformer in Scratch. In this part, I'll show you how to add collision with the ground and how to make the character jump off of platforms. Then in part three, I'll show how to add wall jumping, danger areas, and multiple levels. So yeah, let's get started with collision. So in part one, we made this character that can move left and right and can jump, but it can fall through the ground and can jump in midair. So let's start fixing those things. We want our character to do something if it hits the ground. So to do that, I'll go to the control category and drag out an if block and put it in here. And then to test whether we've hit the ground, we can detect if we've touched this ground color. So to do that, I'll go to the sensing category and drag out the touching color block and I'll just put it in here. And then you can click here and click the eyedropper to just get whatever the color of the ground in your game is. I'll just get this color. Now, what do we want this character to do if it hits the ground? Well, if you remember from the last part, if it's falling down, that means Y speed is like something negative, like negative nine, negative eight or something, something that's making the character go down. So how about if it hits the ground, we set Y speed to zero, because that should stop it from going down anymore. So I'll go to the variables category and drag out set Y speed to zero, and let's give it a shot. So it's not exactly working. When I hit the ground, my Y speed does go to zero, but I am going slightly into the ground. So why is that happening? Well, when I was falling, I may have gone into the ground a little bit before I got to this block and detected the ground. So when we hit the ground, it's not just enough to set the Y speed to zero. We're also gonna need to move the character up a little bit to move them out of the ground. So let's try putting in a change Y by 10 block and just see if that works to sort of bounce our character up out of the ground. I'm gonna give that a shot. Okay, our character is at least not going into the ground now, but changing Y by 10 isn't always looking right. So how can we make it move out of the ground by the correct amount? Well, we know that at this point in the code, the character just changed Y by Y speed and that made them go down. How about we change Y by negative Y speed and that will make them move up out of the ground by the same amount that they just moved into the ground. So that'll actually get them out of it. So as an example, let's say that the character is falling and when they hit the ground, their Y speed is negative eight. This block will make them go down by eight and this block will make them go in the opposite direction. So it'll make them go up by eight. So it gets them perfectly out of the ground. Now let's try it out. I'll click the green flag and now I can jump around and I collide with the ground. So that's looking great. Now let's make it so that I can't jump from midair so that the player actually needs to jump on platforms. Really quick, before I do that, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time and organize my code into blocks like this so it'll be a little neater. So I'll just drag these out and I'm gonna divide these up and I'll explain why I'm sorting with them like this. This I'm gonna call the jump block. So I'll make a block for that. This will be jump. And so after the character moves left and right, they can jump. These two blocks handle the gravity. So I'll make a block called apply gravity and put those two blocks under there. And I'll put apply gravity here under jump. Make sure you always remember to put the block in the main loop after you've created it to make sure it happens in the main loop. You might notice I'm adding numbers to them just to make it really clear what the order is and so that I can tell if I accidentally forget a number. And then the last thing we added was this piece of code, which is just checking for the ground. So I'll make a block called check for the ground, and then I will add this to my main loop as well. And now I've got them all organized. Now let's make our character not be able to jump from midair. So to do that, we can go over to this section of the code that's the jump code. Right now, the character can jump anytime the up arrow key is pressed. So how about we make it so that the player can only jump if the up arrow key is pressed and they're touching the color of the ground. And we can do that by dragging out an and block from the operators category. And I'll put that in here and I'll say, okay, if key up arrow pressed and touching the color of the ground, I'll use the eyedropper and get the ground color again, then the player can jump. So let's try that out. So I'm pressing the up arrow key and trying to jump, but it's actually not letting me jump at all. So 
Why is that happening? So you'll have to really zoom in to see it, but the character may not actually be touching the color of the ground. And so Scratch is thinking, okay, well, uh, you're pressing the up arrow, but you're not touching the color of the ground. So no, you can't jump, but we do want to be able to jump from here. So how can we fix that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my blocks and make a new block and call it, let the player jump from the ground. And I'll put this here in the main loop. And here we will give the player another chance to jump. And with this jump, we will actually dip them into the ground a tiny bit, see if they're touching the ground and then dip them out of it. So I'll do that by saying change Y by negative one, just to move them down and see if they're touching the ground. And then I will right click and duplicate the jump code. And here I'll just give them a chance to jump if they really are on the ground. And then after I've done that, I will change Y by one just to move them back to where they were before I dipped them into the ground. So I'll attach that and let's test it out here. I have let the player jump from the ground is in the main loop and that's the code for it. So let's try. And now I can jump off the ground and just as we wanted, I'm not able to jump if I'm in the middle of the air. So even if I press the up arrow from the air, I can't, I've got to be on a platform or the ground. And let's test out how it's working with some platforms. So I can jump around and jump on top of things. There are a couple of issues. For example, uh, you can go right through walls. You just go straight through them. So uh, that is something we will fix in part three, as well as adding danger areas that kill the player and multiple levels. Um, but for now, I hope you enjoy this stage of your platformer and I'll see you next time. And scratch on.